what? That's a good thing before we forget. What's that? Dogs. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Get Jake over here hooking up the trailer. The old Mass Ferguson. Chad Ferguson. TO35 is heading down the mountain. Uh, I'm going to take her to her new home. Uh, no, we did not sell it. It's going to Jake's house. We're going to do some extensive work on it. Uh, poor old girl needs some work. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to rebuild the carburetor. We're going to replace the exhaust. I was doing some bush work and I backed up. And I killed it. You can see right there. She got a big hole in her now. I was rotted anyway. It just crumbled like tin foil. So, but we're gonna fix it up. We're gonna set the valves, do an oil, engine oil change. Uh, we got this big beautiful bugger here to work on. And uh, yeah, gotta get that going. It works good. We cut some grass with it, but it needs help. So, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Stevie Wonder took a welding class, but. That's where we're we can get a load of that. That's just dog poo on top of dog poo. But Jake's gonna work some of his master welding skills on it. We'll cut all that apart and try and make something out of this. So if we went over here, we sold the homestead. So this is why we did, and that's the this is the job here that uh, that, that bush mower was able to do. I mean, it's not too bad. Did I tell the difference between lawn tractor and the bush mower? But yeah. Uh, so we got, we had that old utility trailer back here. It was a snowmobile trailer that somebody had worked on. So what we're gonna do is use this material here, this nice heavy angle iron, because we like to reuse it. And this is gonna fix the, uh, that bush mower, so. Then we'll do something with the axle. So we're cleaning up right now. We got to get everything cleaned up and get it out of here. There's a good shot of what we're into. Um, so I mean that ma that this Massey just runs. It runs good. I mean it. It's getting a little bit rough on its running, but it's done a lot of work. I cleared bush. I, I punched a hole in there. Went around through the trees. She's done her fair share of work. So it's time that we. Uh, that we do a little bit of babying on her so that's what we're up to this weekend um i'll pause the movie now or the video now sorry and then we'll pick up when we unload now we're heading down the road now with the tractor um yeah behind us following us home you can see that there you go uh, so we were just driving by the site where how many kids were in the car? There was a, an adult male and a 16 year old boy. We thought that was the moped crash. It wasn't. That was a crash that happened on Thursday where they went into the trees and were ejecting people inside of a car and the 16 year old boy was killed on the scene. He didn't survive. They were both ejected out of the vehicle. So that's the kind of stuff going on on that road it's up scary. there. It's a very scary road. That's the second big crash. Uh, our first, second, second year there, of three, there was a GMC upside down in the ditch. But he, he jumped the jumped the road, and he and when he landed it, he uh, picked up a culvert on the ditch, and it flipped the truck completely over, and it was on its roof and went down, skidding through the ditch. There's no shoulders on that road. Speed limit 60k. Everybody's doing 160, if not more. I would just cringe when my wife would pull out onto the road yeah so lo the locals here they're all used to it they enjoy it right i mean that's part of their culture that's fine but uh i don't know in my old age i've just i'm just not into that kind of garbage i understand the road i understand that the you know having been a motorcyclist i know what to look for what is potentially not a good thing and yeah so we're happy to say that uh, yeah the homestead's winding down. We got the tractor. We got some steel there to fix the bush hog. We're going to do a video on repairing the bush hog. We, we were just cutting grass with it like I showed you, and it was nice. So uh, it's definitely worth throwing a couple bucks into. We weren't going to do that. Um, yeah. 
So it's not quite fall colors yet. Whoops, sorry about that. But we're rolling down the highway, heading to where we're dumping the tractor, or taking the tractor to, I should say. Um, yeah, we got a little bit of color going on. Anyway, there's uh, there's my hat. A lot, of you, a lot of my viewers will know what that's about. Um, anyway, we got the tractor. Uh, things are starting to look positive, I hope, I hope, I hope. So, like I said, we got some irons in the fire. It's not the end of homesteading. We're going to be just changing gears a little bit, maybe taking a little bit of rest. But, oh, by the way, chicken news. Buck, 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 buck. Chicken man. Yeah, we got an egg. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can put a still in this. I'll try and, I'll try and edit, cut in a still. I'm not that good at editing because nobody went to school to learn how to edit, Jake, when they were in high school because I wanted to... I wanted to, to learn this stuff. The best way to learn is off Jake, your kids. Yeah. Yeah. Learn off your kids how to do stuff. Yep. So I'm learning on my own. Uh, right now I do all my editing off my cell phone and these uh, easy to do apps. So that's all I can, I know how to do. I can't, I don't know. I'm having, this, this cell phone doesn't even download anymore. It's messed up. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm wandering off target, so let's get back on target. Just I've got a U-Haul trailer. It pulls decent. Uh, it's a little bit tough on fuel. We dropped from 12 down 12 per hundred. Yeah, 12 per hundred to 16.3. I'm not going crazy fast. And uh, there you go. So... Uh, we'll, we'll pick up the video when we get back so in the meanwhile like subscribe ring the bell for more content my one my one viewer out there is doing a great job supporting me and the channel and uh, yeah I'd like to get two viewers that'd be so cool so if you could say the subscribe button you might be the second viewer and that would be totally awesome yeah I'm just kidding we got a couple of viewers so I like to return viewers they're great they make good comments make comments if you think that you know, whatever you think, share it, share it with us. We're always open to it. So let me, uh, I'll, I'll hold the clip here and then we'll pick it back up when we unload the tractor. Probably young kids booze cruising. So yeah, this uh, trailer only comes with wheel snatches. So we added the, uh, I'm gonna turn. There we go. It's dry, eh? Pretty good trailer, got pull out ramps. Some of you guys might recognize that old bird over there. It's been a while since you've seen it. There it is. TYM. Okay, so we'll get this baby off. And uh, I've got to unload the truck.
gas on. That's my bad. Might want to lift your three point there too. Why? She's dragging a bit. It's all the way up. Is it? Yeah. Okay, try this again. Take two. Oh, she's running terrible. I gotta adjust the carburetor. Man, that's nuts. Gas off? I don't think so. Did it run out of gas? Nah, it usually doesn't run out that abruptly. Hold on. Good? Yep. There. Now the landing wheel won't be flopping all over the place. Let's see if we can find out what happened to this thing. Yep. Gas is shut off? Yep. Just gotta choke it. Come on, baby. Hold on a minute. Come here and hold the choke. Okay. When it, when it lights up, push it in. Push it in. Yeah, I'd say that's a little flooded. Went from out of gas to flooded. Woo! If you ever wanted to see what the underside of a bush hog looked like, let's get under here and have a look. Oh, there she be. Two flailing blades. I swear those are in upside down. If somebody could tell me. They look upside down to me. I don't know. What do you think? Asking my life here taking this. Um, they are on upside down going backwards. Try it again. Lift just. Let out on the clutch. All right, step on it.
I'm telling you boys and girls those blades are on upside down and they're backwards okay shut the motor off shut the motor off yep safety first okay let's see what we got here <laughs> Oh my God, Jake. Oh my God, look at that. They're on upside down. Look at, the flight is pointing downward. And the cutting edge is, is trailing, not leading. That's crazy. Well, there you go, Jake, you got a project. Yeah. There's a view underneath of the carnage. You guys can see daylight through there. This is what we're gonna be fixing up. I'm loving it. Another project. Great. Just what I wanted. Something to get us excited again. Working on this stuff. Okay. There we go. We found another problem. Anyway, like, subscribe. Ring the bell for more death defying content. I gave you guys the underside view of a of a uh, bush cutter. What do, you, what do you call it? Bush hog. It's not actually bush hog, but it's a rough cut mower. Bush mower. Brush mower. There's what we were looking for. I gave you guys a death defying view of a brush mower. We got the landing wheel put back on properly there. So, yeah, that's good. Look at look at this. We got to rebuild this. This is this mount is a disaster, my lord. Anyway, that's what we're going to be up to. So, uh, thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, we'll be getting back to you soon with more. Kind of sort of homesteading content. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bonus video, boys and girls, putting air in the tires with the DeWalt. Oh, yeah. That's the baby. The DCC0201 air inflator. That's the puppy. Come here, Jake. Give me a hand. Get to see this in action. See the kind of air pressure. You see the calcium leak out a little bit. Oh, sorry. I'm off camera again. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, this is low. Look at that. That's the one that was low. There it is. It's supposed to be 12. Go ahead, hit that magical button. That one had a little wrinkle in the side. I knew it was sitting low on one side. So, this thing has been a workhorse. We've been using this a lot. Way more than I would have ever used a booster pack. Um, you got different options when you need a booster pack. You can boost with another vehicle. You can do all kinds of things. But when you need air to fill up a tire, you don't have that many options. You know? You got to kind of do what you got to do. So having this little thing has been a godsend. It was expensive, but I think it was well worth it. So anyway, I just thought we'd give you some bonus video. Like, subscribe, ring the bell. Come back for more breathtaking, death-defying videos. And remember, always remember, your discretion is advised. Take care. See you soon.